Hi, welcome to Once Virtual Venue. I'm Chris Porter from Porter Productions and Once Somerville. You're about to enjoy some exclusive content presented especially for you by the Once family. Before we start the show, I just want to mention a few important things. First, we ask that you please donate to the artists featured in this video. They are so kind to our venue and Once is very grateful that they are sharing their talents with all of us today. The link to their tip jar is in the comments section of this video. We're also including a link to our own GoFundMe campaign, which we hope you'll also consider donating to as well. Performance helps bring our communities together, and that's really our main purpose at once. We want everyone to be able to enjoy art, and we particularly want to enjoy all of that art together. So we're making that possible by any means we can. Thank you so much for being a part of this experience, both at home and when you're with us in the ballroom or in the lounge. Finally, keep in mind that the bathrooms are in the back on the far left. Please, no flash photography, and as always, no crowd surfing. Thank you again. We hope you enjoy the show. The show this evening is with Dave Derby performing solo. Uh, Dave's a New York-based artist, but uh, we know him very well in Boston. He was one of the founding members of the band The Dam Builders, who were a very prominent band throughout the 90s. Uh, we're happy to see Dave's brought back the Dam Builders uh, under the moniker Dam Builders Senior. Uh, we had them scheduled out at Once Lounge on March 21st, and sadly we had to cancel that show due to the pandemic. We hope to get them in our room as soon as we can. But in the meantime, this is great that Dave is willing and able to perform solo for us this evening. So please enjoy Dave Derby here on Once Virtual Venue. Hey everybody, my name is Dave Derby. Uh, I'm playing some songs for you tonight as part of Once Virtual. Um, these are a bunch of songs from my old band, The Dam Builders. We were supposed to play uh, at once, but it got canceled due to the coronavirus lockdown. So this is the first date so far, maybe the only date, I'm not sure yet, of my Lockdown Rockdown 2020 tour uh, coming to you from my living room in uh, sunny New York City. It's been said that I should turn the other cheek And how you Uh, 
Um, all right. Uh, that was a song from Against the Stars. It was actually our first single on our last record. It was called Burn This Bridge. Um, we made a video for it in Toronto that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, this is a song from um, our first major label record. It was actually, before that, it was released as a single on Pop Narcotic. Uh, it's called Collins Heroes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, you know, for all I know, you hated that. And I don't know, it's just a strange thing, affectation, I guess. Got to say after each song. Thank you very much. Um, this is a song uh, from our second major label record, uh, Ruby Red. We recorded this one in uh, North Hollywood, California. Um, and this is a song about Boston, about cold, cold Boston winters and, uh, and nostalgia. I still see the two of us together 
when the winter wind blows cold You can't get lost as long as you remember You know where the highway goes And I may never find out where it is But I might reach you with a trap back here It's wrong to think about forever When you know it doesn't last But if you try to run away from the memory Can't ever drive too fast I might find out where it is But I might reach you with a trap I kill And it's a sad way to say hello And if I sleep it all Would you let me know Say goodbye But don't let me go I wish I could say that I never did all these feelings that I care to With a child back here With a child So this is a song from that same record. It's kind of a funny song to play these days, being a middle-aged dad. Uh, that my daughter does like this song. Um, this was actually a fairly successful single in Australia. Um, and uh, yeah, we made a great video for it at Upstairs in the Middle East. Um, involved a lot of skateboarding. Tell you. 
what to do Just get high in middle school Forget the middle class Fuck this middle age rule Say a word, don't even try, cause you'll never be heard. Teenage loser, you will say, not much to lose, and even less to say. Here's a song. I, I was going to change guitars right now, but instead I'm going to just kind of plug away and keep playing on this guitar. I hope you don't mind. Uh, just called an audible. Didn't like the didn't like the look of the defense there. Uh, here we go. All right. English, but she tells me all her favorite bands, and it's not too much to talk about. I wonder if she understands. I know she likes L7, and I think that she likes me when she rolls the stocking past her knee. We talk of rock and roll. Like yesterday, I met her in a smoky club. If you get drunk and fall behind, you know that I will put you up. And if I learned the language, she would tell me all her dreams. I know exactly what she. Ready to, but I know that if I stayed with her, I 
I'd lose track of all time So I light a candle to the shrine Call it rock and roll Rock and roll Here's another song from Ruby Red. This is kind of a sort of tour diary kind of song. Uh, we actually recorded this one on tour in um, Minneapolis. Uh, and yeah, it's just kind of a, it just sort of really takes me back to the 90s, kind of touring around the country, mostly having a good time, not always having a good time. I stare, cause like what I see, I'm touched, because I have to be out of focus. But I'm not wandering My eye is like a faded star And you're blurred At least I think that you are One more drink And it's another bar Just drain another glass of 
smart as can be Don't think too strenuously You matter, your head irreparably You're right, I'm an idiot and I'm a joke but you're not getting in Where Cause Over your head I got a lazy eye And I guess I wanna die Here's a song, I just want to play a really brief version of this. This is, as I've been kind of listening back to old Dan Builder's songs, this is one that I really like, a kind of song I really had forgotten about. It was on um, our last record, Against the Stars. It's called You Might Want Me Around. switch guitars and play a few more songs. <clears throat> it's the uh, exciting dynamic part of the show where I change guitars. It's pretty exciting. Um, this is a song that I really like a lot. It's a um, song from uh, Ruby Red. And uh, we wrote this when we were on 
really our first national tour, which was this very strange tour we went on with um, Small Factory and Fudge. Um, and uh, we got lost somewhere between LA and Bakersfield, uh, California. So I'm gonna adjust this microphone as well. Um, and this is a song that's kind of about this afternoon that we had there, um, which is really pretty, I don't know, it was just weird. Um, it was kind of a little bit about, about driving through the Southwest, kind of through the desert at night, kind of vibe to the song. Um, and I remember recording this and just, you know, really loving it. Um, anyway, uh, so here it is. Saint Tamarindo left its mark on me. I don't forget those kinds of signs that easy unhitch the trailer. There's nowhere to go. Unhitch the stars and let them. Another song about driving. What I want to 
want us to feel it. I don't want to be told. There's nothing to hold us, a place to go. In every direction, set to explode. This is my connection. Smooth control, smooth control, set to roll. Smooth control, indestructible. Smooth control, design and Smooth control, so alone. Speed is the object, smooth control. I don't want to be held back, I just want to be told. My hope is feeling, can't be known. My fear is feeling, it's death the soul. Smooth control, set to roll. Smooth control, destructible. Smooth control, design of Smooth control, it's all I know. Love is the best love if you know how it fits. I'm in love with this highway and these neon kids. We sit down on the back seats, sit the tats red. I wanna feel like I'm flying, like I'm on the dead. My dream is a car crash that finds a soul. My heart is a needle. Smooth control in every direction, set to explode. This is my connection. Smooth control, smooth control, set to roll. Smooth control, destructible. Smooth control, designable. Smooth control, it's all I know. Teachers, contracts, offers, on contact. All right, thank you so much for coming to this. Uh, really wish I could see you guys in person. I wish that I were there and I wish you were here and all that stuff. Um, but thank you for watching. I'm gonna play one more song for you. She goes to bed, she goes to bed with a smile.
naked body clothes My burned out heart Behind the eyes Search for nowhere Comes me Out from the blank page Into my nowhere heart All right, I guess I'm on. And Dave, you are too. Hey, Chris. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, that was brilliant. Thank you so much for doing that and pulling out all those songs, some I haven't heard in a long time, and uh, bringing back a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of memories here. Um, hi, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Chris Porter. I, it's great to see a lot of uh, familiar names though uh, who are attending here today. So thanks, and some from all over the, the country. So that's uh, great to see. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I do want to um, remind everybody about the, uh, well, virtual tip jar uh, that we've got here on Zoom. I know a lot of you are watching uh, via YouTube and that's just a little reminder that uh, what you saw uh, today uh, with Dave is going to be on our YouTube channel, the uh, once virtual venue channel. So uh, please go on that, subscribe, like the videos and, and, and check it out. Let other people know who couldn't make it or if you tuned in a little late, uh, it'll always be on there. So uh, please check that out. Dave, um, oh, and also um, thanks to the pandemic, uh, you know, I know we're having flashbacks from the 90s and all of this. I also, thanks to the pandemic, I have my 90s hair. I don't think I've had my hair this long <laughs> since then. So I'm feeling like this is extra authentic, but uh, D Dave, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, but I, I, I seem to recall the Dam Builders split up in 1998. So obviously we can do the math, that's a little over 20 years ago. Um, yeah. what, uh, what inspired, what brought, you know, inspired you to bring back uh, the Dam Builders and, and concentrate on this music again? Um, I, I've, you know, I've been playing music with Kevin March for years since the Dam Builders split up. And, and also with, with Joan, um, I, I've been actually resurrecting some old songs that weren't released with Eric, but I've been, you know, kind of in touch with um, and working with all the, you know, the, my former bandmates. And, uh, and Kevin and I just started doing some shows kind of um, almost as a joke, like we, we, we started what we were calling a Dam Builders tribute band. Uh, we were called Collins Heroes. Uh, what, what we call it, Collins Heroes, New York's foremost Dam Builders tribute band, featuring members of the Dam Builders. Um, but we uh, we started playing some shows together and started doing the songs together, and just uh, I just really enjoyed it. And um, actually, no, you know, I'm realizing the the real answer actually now that you're saying this. So I play with this woman, Claudia Chopek, who is a violin player, plays in. Um, in Gramercy Arms, and we went to Sean Eden, who used to be in the band, or still is in the band, Luna, who also plays in Gramercy Arms. We went to his birthday party, um, and uh, and Claudia said to me, you know, did I ever tell you that I'm a massive Dan Builders fan, and I actually know all those songs. I know how to play them on violin. I was like, no, I didn't know that. 
And, um, and, and so we just, I don't know, Kevin was there, we had a few drinks and by the end of the night, we decided we were gonna try out this tribute band, which we tried and we really enjoyed. And um, I don't know, just, it's been really fun to play those old songs. I feel like, you know, maybe I kind of went through my sort of petulant years of not playing um, old songs and now I just really love them. I go back to them and, you know, it's been really fun for me to play these acoustically and it's been a real treat to play them uh, in the band as well. That's a long answer to a simple question. No, I love it. No, thank you. And and so Kevin, so this new version of the Dan Bill is, and you're calling it Dan Bill, your senior, is that right? Yeah, it, yeah. Instead of Dan Bill, you know, instead of Dinosaur Junior, it's, it looks better. Okay. Bill is SR as opposed SR. to- SR, you, you can put, fill it in however you want. Okay, well, SR. And is, um, so Kevin's playing in this version, is that right? So that's complicated, maybe. Oh, okay. uh, maybe. We're not sure. And that's, that's mean why. to open up a can of worms. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it kind of depends. Um, it, it, we started playing with him. And um, so so the, the version of the band that was going to play, uh, I think, in March at once um, featured Mike Savage on drums, who was who played in Cherry 2000 um, and also played in that band Fudge that um, I was talking about a little bit earlier. Um, so so the Dan Builder senior moniker is sort of like, you know, uh, you know, it's one of those things, like I remember growing up in Hawaii, I think I saw Deep Purple with like, you know, one of the original members. And I think, I can't remember what they were calling themselves, but it was just, you know, some kind of dumb nod to that. Yeah, no, okay, there you go. Well, just just uh, to differentiate the two. Yeah, yeah, it, it's always complicated. It is. And all. Um, yeah. are, are you, um, I have a couple more questions for you, but I do, I did just have a note here uh, that we have a little message. We don't really have, this isn't a commercial thing. We don't have commercials, but we do have a, a message from Matt, our old buddy, Matt Heaton, who plays at uh, Once Lounge and Once Ballroom quite often. And we have a little message that we want to uh, remind every, all of our viewers about. So uh, Jamie, would you hit the uh, Matt Heaton message? And I'll be right back with Dave in a moment. You've dined at that new restaurant Where they had everything you want The food's so good you're really glad you went But before you go home and take a bath You first must do a little math Take the bill and add 20% You've got to tip, 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 tip your server Tip, tip your bartender too no matter what their age, they make less than minimum wage. Tipping is the only thing to do. Sometimes you tip, tip, tip the musicians. If you have enjoyed the songs we play, there's no cover at the door, but there's a tip jar on the floor. It's the only way that we are getting paid. But now we tip, 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 tip the venues. Their doors are closed and we are all at home. But we love them and we're hoping that they'll still be open when at last we are allowed to roam. Go on and tip, tip, tip the musicians. If you enjoy watching us live stream, there's PayPal and there's Venmo, and I must say again, oh, tipping keeps the music on the screen. There's PayPal and there's Venmo, and I must say again, oh, that tipping keeps the music on the screen. All right, there we go. Very, very important message from Matt Heaton. Matt, thanks for uh, making that for us. Um, little subtle reminders. Uh, so, so Dave, you, you touched on something else I was going to ask you about. Uh, you mentioned Gramercy Arms. Uh, that's that's a project you've had for quite a few years. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Gramercy Arms, uh, we have released a couple of records uh, on a label in the UK called Reveal Records. Uh, and we're releasing our third record, hopefully in the fall. Um, 
and it features um, a lot of people I've been making music with over the years. Um, Kevin, March, um, Sean Eden, Claudia Chopek, um, uh, and, and uh, Hilkin Mancini, uh, uh, Kendall Mead, Claudia Gonson, like it's a long list of people. Um, it's basically just an excuse to reconnect with my friends. Tanya Donnelly actually was on the last record. Wow, um, great. Yeah, know. yeah. So yeah it's, it's just, it really is an excuse to hang out with my friends. <laughs> yeah, that's a little collective. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, uh, and so you said this, the, the latest one uh, was how, is something new coming out or is there? Yeah, we're working on our third record, um, which tentatively called Deleted Scenes, which is coming out, I think, hopefully in the fall. Um, but yeah, that's been a fun project too. Great. Great. Well, I encourage everybody to keep in uh, any rap for that. Um, you know, we're talking about Kevin. Are you still in touch with your, your other bandmates? Are they, are they, I know Joan still does quite a bit yeah. of music. Uh, yeah. And I got to add Joan to the list of people who have, you know, has, I also sort of enlist on Gramercy Arms Records. Um, she and Lloyd Cole actually sang a beautiful duet on the last record, a song called Beautiful Disguise, which there's a video out there somewhere for it. It was kind of fun. Um, yeah. How about Eric? Is he still doing music? Or? Um, Eric is, uh, it, it, you know, as far as I know, he's still, he's still doing his, uh, his, his uh, film mixing thing. Um, he and I um, are starting to we're starting to talk about writing together again. We, we, uh, I'm definitely resurrecting some old songs from the sort of Derby Masanaga vaults. Uh, you know, he, he and I, you know, grew up together. So kind of, uh, you know, before the kind of, you know, the, the lineup of the Damblers that I think most people in Boston know emerged, he, you know, we, we had played with different people and, and, and he and I have been writing songs together for a really long time. Um, and a couple of songs actually that are on the next Gramercy Arms record are, are kind of old songs from those vaults that have been kind of reworked. Um, that's so great. That's, that's yeah, great. So looking forward to making more music with Eric. And, and I forgot about that. I was sort of reminded when I was looking at your bio the other day, I forgot you did some work with Lloyd Cole uh, yeah. and obviously still do, I guess. I mean, yeah. how, how did that connection work out? Yeah, so actually that's a, a funny one that, um, uh, it's funny, it actually started through Claudia Gonson. Uh, work, I think she and Stephen Merritt were making a sixth record and they wanted to get Lloyd to sing on it. And I remember I had lunch with Claudia and she said, I know you're a big Lloyd Cole fan. Um, I'm having lunch with him tomorrow. So if you want to give me a cassette, I did. And he, he and I put my number on it and he called me and he, he and, and I think at first I was asking him if he wanted to produce my, uh, then I was working on a project called Brilliant Team and he said, no, I don't want to produce that. I want to be your keyboardist. Um, and then he and I, he started playing keyboards in my band. And then uh, when his bass player got sick, I joined his band. Um, and he and I have been collaborating on music for years. There's actually the next Gramsci Arms record. There's a, a couple of songs that he and I co-wrote um, that are going to be on it. Um, I've done, you know, played on a bunch of his records, produced a bunch of his records. I've been working on, I worked on the last one uh, we're working on a new one. It's it's uh, me and him and Chris Hughes, who um, was a former member of um, Adam and the Ants, and uh, and also co-wrote Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Um, anyway, the three of us have been are you know we're kind of working on the next record, which is kind of exciting. That's great. That's yeah. great. Well, so you have plenty of music stuff in your plate uh, these days, and and you're based in New York, as we were saying off camera. You're in the living in the new Brooklyn, Manhattan, right? Yeah. Ne next Brooklyn. <laughs> next Brooklyn, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Manhattan will get rediscovered someday. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's great. Well, hopefully, you know, I, I was so torn up for well, for numerous reasons of the pandemic and the scheduling and everything. I was going to be at the show. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to, you know, reschedule that in 2021. I really look forward to seeing you and all your friends, you know, playing it once. Have you been to, you've been to once? Yeah. Once. Yes. Okay. So, you know. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, I unfortunately have to miss that show, I've but uh, been twice. I've been twice. twice? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because we, we, I think uh, Kevin and I played it part of that uh, WNBR pipeline thing. Oh, I forgot. Ago. Oh, going further back. Yes, when it was yeah. cuisine and locale, which is yeah, uh, yeah. That's right. Exactly. That's right. That's right. right. Okay. 
There you go. Well, it, th Dave, thanks so much again for, for doing this. I look forward to seeing you in person. Thanks to everyone who came, YouTube, Zoomers, all of you. Thanks so much for uh, joining us. We Please uh, keep, uh, keep tuned to uh, Once on Facebook and our website and YouTube. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more of these shows for apparently a long time. <laughs> we don't want to say exactly how long, but we're having a lot of fun doing it. And uh, please spread the word. Uh, we're gonna have some you know, great shows coming up. So without any further ado, I think if uh, some of you are on the Zoom portion of this, I wanna do a little shout out to Dave right now before we give you all a fun to do. Y'all tell him how Thanks, much Dave. you love him or hate him. What else? Thanks, Dave. <laughs> you love really Dave. Thanks, Dave. Hey, Dave. Thanks, Dave. You're awesome, Chris. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Coming. That was dynamite. Hey, everyone. Love you. Okay, Dave. Oh, Hi, Dave. There's JJ, our fearless leader. There we go. <laughs> Bye, kids. Love you. You guys. Yeah, thank you. We're, I think we're the only streamers that do this. How could you you know, you get, get everybody involved. So. Anyway, well, everyone, stay safe. You too, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Sean. JJ. Who's having the after, after party with that? So, there we go. The virtual yeah. after party somewhere. <laughs> Yeah. Don't forget I'll to host. invite me. I'll host, I guess. Hey, fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, Winston. We got, we got white Russians, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. Hello. Good night. And she's firing him up. Cheers, be well. I see you. Bye. Bye. See you. Hi, Colin. Hi, JJ. Thank you. Colin. We thank you. Co <laughs> Colin, say Dave. Colin's here. <laughs> Slaughter sack reunion. Dave, Colin's here. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Good night, you guys. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.